Are you looking to move to Robbins Air Force Base? Well, it's in the heart of Houston County, sitting inside of Warner Robins, Georgia, and this is gonna be the only video you need to watch in order to be able to move here. I'm gonna go over from A to Z, everything in the area, what's here, and also there's gonna be some links in the description of websites you can go to to get even more detail. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Let's talk about location. It's right off of I-75, which runs from north to south, all the way from Ohio, all the way down to, I believe, the top of Florida. It's nice right off the highway. You take Russell Parkway or Watson Boulevard. You bank a left if you're coming from the north, you bank a right if you're coming from the south, and it runs pretty much dang near right into the base. There's what's called gate three. Gate three is gonna be open 24 hours a day. All soldiers can go on that. It's gonna be right off at 247, which is gonna be right next to Russell Parkway. It cruises right in with easy access. But let's say you're flying. Middle Georgia Regional Airport, which is just the south part of Macon, is gonna be your nearest airport. It's gonna take you about 20 minutes to get there, but understand this. You can fly from that airport. I think there are a few places they fly, but most likely you're gonna fly from that airport to Atlanta anyway. Uh, Atlanta airport is the largest airport in the country. Um, I don't think it's the largest by size, but the largest by population that travels through. It's huge, you have to take a subway when you're down inside. But that's about an hour and 30 minutes north of Robbins Air Force Base. So if you're traveling, most likely you're gonna drive up an hour and 30 minutes and then fly to wherever you need to go. Or if you're traveling here, most likely you're gonna fly in to Atlanta and then make the hour and a half drive south. Let's talk about the size and population of the base here real quick. I believe it's 6,400 and some change acres, the base as a whole. It's the number one largest industrial complex in the state of Georgia. And we have about 23,000 people that work on Robbins Air Force Base. We have 6,000 active duty military personnel, or if you're active guard reserve, if you wanna get technical about it, there's about 15,000 civilians. So there are much more civilians that work on the base than actual soldiers. And also there's about 3,000 contractors. Now there's a bunch of jobs, which I'm gonna to get to here in a second, but the majority of the work here on Robbins Air Force Base is done by civilians who work for the federal government. A fun fact about being the biggest industrial complex it produced $5.46 billion back to the economy last year. And also one last thing about the size and the population, they're getting three new missions, which I believe we're gonna get about 3,500 more active duty soldiers. So we're gonna go from 6,000 to 9,500. So it is gonna be an increase in population. So that means there's a potential 3,500 more families that are gonna need housing here. So make sure you get in contact with the right person if you're looking to buy a home or if you wanna rent in the local area. Again, I can help you out. Just send me a text at 478-220-8220 and I can definitely help you. So let's continue to talk about housing here for a little bit. You got three options when it comes to actual housing on the base. Option number one is on-base housing. So here's the deal. Most likely, you're gonna to have to be an officer. You already know that if you're in the military, officers qualify first for on-base housing. But if you're an NCO, you need to contact the local housing office, link in the description for their website. They're gonna be able to help you out with that. If you want off-base housing, shoot me a text, 478-220-8220. I'll be able to help you. But here's the thing, look at Warner Robins, look at Byron, look at Perry, Kathleen, let's say Bonaire, and we're about 15 miles south, Robbins Air Force Base, of Macon. If you wanna go on a little extra drive, those are some great areas to start your home search. And then of course we got rentals. Now, rentals in this area are quite expensive. Rental houses are extremely high due to the market, but also rentals are. Um, for example, a local rental in the area, two bedroom right around 1,400 square feet is gonna cost you somewhere between $1,600 and $2,000 a month, depending on what area around one Robins that you wanna live in. So when it comes down to it, you got on-base housing, you got off-base housing, and you got rentals. Next, let's talk about education in case you have kids. Houston County is home to a little over 30,000 students with a total of 39 schools. So we got 24 elementary schools, eight middle schools, five high schools, one virtual school, and one career academy. 
We have about 14 students per teacher when you add up all the 30,000 students and divide by how many teachers we have across, across, there we go, I can speak, across the board of the 39 schools. So that's something you wanna take into consideration because education for kids, in my opinion, is super important. When the average student in Georgia it's 80, 83.65%, there we go, 83.65% graduation rate with Houston County being 89.6. So you got a little bit of a bump there. It's a really good school system over here. So if you're nervous about your kids swapping over, there's no need, we have great schools in the area. Let's talk about healthcare. Of course, within the county, there's plenty of hospitals, but if we're talking about the on-base hospital, state-of-the-art facility, you got the 78th Medical Corps over there, and they're gonna be able to take great care of you and your family if anything were to go wrong. A little backstory on me, I had ankle surgery when I was in the Army over at Martin Army Hospital in Columbus, Georgia, which was on Fort Benning. I didn't think military doctors were gonna do a good job. Kinda freaked me out. Well, this is my ankle for the rest of my life. Could be a bad experience. Lo and behold, the surgery went phenomenal. My ankle is if I'd never had anything wrong with it. So I do believe in the medical staff within the military. So probably gonna be okay. Getting something done on Robbins Air Force Base. Never been to the hospital personally before, but I do back them because they did a good job with me over in Columbus. Let's talk about recreation. We got the MWRs on base, just like any base in the United States or overseas. Morale, welfare, recreation, MWRs on base. Check out the link in the description. You can just go to their website or um, just from my personal experience being over there, they got tennis courts, they got a pickleball court on the tennis court. They have a really nice golf course, softball fields, track, they got bowling over there, uh, a good amount of restaurants as well. They got the PX, well it's actually called the BX because in the Air Force it's called Base Exchange, in the Army it is called the PX, Post Exchange. Uh, commissary, all that good stuff. If you are active duty soldier, you and your wife can both go into the commissary. If not, you need to go over to the deer's office on base and get her a spouse card, or if it's vice versa and you're a woman and you're married to a guy. Um, you can go over there and get a dependent ID, which will allow them access to the commissary because if you go over there and try to shop for groceries and you don't have that card, they're just gonna kick you out. Um, there's plenty to do over on that base. I love it. Um, I'm currently in the reserves with the army. I can still go over on the base. We probably go two, three days a week. Love playing pickleball over there. And then they have some awesome dog parks as well. They have big dog parks, small dog parks, anything that you could do for you and your family. I believe that there's three over there. One is ginormous, it's like 15 acres. So really, really good time. Now let's talk about work opportunities. Now obviously if you're active duty in the military or the National Guard with the Air Force, Air National Guard or reserves, or reserves also, you know, that could might that might be your duty weekend station. Or you can get put on orders or active guard reserve and work over there as well. But let's talk about the people who aren't in the military. Of course, there's more people over there that are contractors, right? We talked about the 3,000 and then we talked about the 15,000 civilians. If you want a civilian job on base, go to usajobs.com or go on the base's website and you're gonna be able to search for a job. Now, what that's gonna be, that's a federal job. If you have a normal resume, make sure you create a federal resume. That thing's gonna be anywhere from seven to 10 pages long. It is not a normal resume. The job hiring process for USA Jobs or federal position is long. It can be anywhere from three months to a year, depending on what career you're trying to get yourself into. So if you need a job in the area and you wanna be on the federal side, make sure you find the job before you move here. Then you might have to fly out for a couple face-to-face -face interviews, but lock that down. But number two, a lot of contracting jobs in the area. So that's something you can look up online, maybe go into Indeed and check out what field that you're in because there's contractors everywhere and there's some really, really, really great job opportunities. The base actually employs about 30% of the citizens within Warner Robins huge economic growth that's going on over there, a lot more jobs coming to the base, and there might be some great opportunities for you. And then I wanted to go over community here real quick. I know we talked about the MWR when I just messed those words up like crazy, uh, but there is a really great community. Um, there's different groups that can get together. I know there's a lot of fun activities for you and your kids when it comes to different clubs on the base. Make sure you go to the community website within Robbins Air Force Base. I'll link that down in the description, and you can go and check out all of the community stuff that happens in the area. 
you. And last but not least, go to mybaseguy.com. Again, link in the description for that website. It has everything you could possibly need to know. So if you wanna go above and beyond and really dig in to see what the base specifically has to offer for you and your family, go check out that link. Their data, I think it's from either 2020 or 2021. So it's not fully updated, but it's gonna tell you stuff like the library, where the finance office is, where the Deers office is, where is the BX, where's the commissary located, where's the fun activities, what kind of restaurants are on there. It's gonna have all that information more in depth. So if you wanna dig a little bit deeper, go check that out. Hey, thank you for staying until the end of the video. It's my goal to bring you guys as much value as possible for when you move into the middle Georgia area, whether you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate, send me a text 478-220-8220. I'd love to be able to help you and your family move down here and be comfortable and confident through the entire process.